The Office of the Vice President will appeal the notice of disallowance issued by the Commission on Audit. In an interview with Radio Cinco, OVP spokesperson Michael Poa said the COA notice is not yet final. Recall that the COA has disallowed some 73 million pesos worth of confidential funds in the 2022 budget of the OVP. State auditors flagged the OVP's non-submission of documents for some expenditures. We are now preparing to appeal yung ating uh, disallowance na sinasabi. Talaga namang the Office of the Vice President has been cooperating with the ongoing audit. To be honest, it's a bit irregular no, that we are talking about uh, a COA finding na hindi pa po final. Nako eh, nung isang araw, di ba, pinag-usapan talaga yung, uh, yung budget hearing ni uh, Vice President Sara Duterte sa yeah. House of uh -oh. Representatives. Ang uh, nag-preside nga doon ay si uh, uh, Congresswoman na Stella Marie Kimbo. At uh, actually, meron palang 17 lawmakers uh, na, na nag-prepare na tatanungin itong si Vice President Sara Duterte no? uh, tungkol dun sa kanya magiging budget for... Uh, uh, 2025, mm. and of course, meron sila mga gustong itanong doon. Dito nga, kasama to, yung mga notice of disallowance, ang commission, uh, 2022 budget, yung mga 2023 tungkol sa confidential funds, at inunahan na sila ni Vice President Sara Duterte. <laughs> diba? Ano sabi ni, Sara, ni Vice President? Hindi ko maalala. Hindi ko maalala, sabi niya, diba? I-defer na lang daw niya kung ano daw sasabihin ng Congress, kung papayagan siya o hindi. Uh, hindi na daw niya sasagutin yung mga tanong ng mga hmm. specifically uh, kasi, doon. sinabi niya na everything daw is in a PowerPoint presentation niya. Plus yung opening speech niya, nandun na rin daw sa presentation. Oh, oh. Kung gusto nila malaman ano yung sagot ng OVP, ni VP, manood na lang ng presentation. Kung baga, ganun ang messaging. And she, ano, and you know, yung pinapakita natin sa TV, yeah. diba? Oo. Oh, oh. She even asked uh, Representative uh, Kimbo na palitan na lang daw yung mag, ano, yung, uh, yung head, no? Yung magpe-preside nung hearing. Eh, hindi naman niya pa pwede gawin yun. Diba? Because uh, magkaiba yan ang opisina ng ano, Vice President that's, at saka ng House of Representatives. That's uh, co-equal branches of government. Oo, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa kanila kung anong pwedeng gawin. Executive, legislative, and the courts. Mm -hmm. So, they're all co-equal branches. So, wondered, there should be mutual respect amongst all of them. Hindi mo, exactly. you don't look down upon each uh, branch. Oo, oh, oh. so I was wondering nga kung, kung halimbawa kung ibang uh, mula sa ibang ahensya, uh, ano ba yung dapat gawin ng Congress sa ganyang... No, I don't Attitude. think. I don't think uh, <laughs> other heads of agencies or exactly. uh, secretaries oh. who uh, uh, will behave like that. Oh, oh. Pero uh, it's uh, they're more noted because like uh, the Derte family are noted for their brand of politics, na iron fist, uh -oh. uh, and and how combative they are. So that's what they're known for. That's what people voted for. Sinab oh, oh, sinabi so. nga ni uh, Senator Cheese Escudero, hindi yata sanay. Diba, na, si, nat natatanong siya. Natatanong siya. Kasi it's not si the first time na si Sarah Vice President Sara has gotten angry sa mga questions. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, diba yung sa Senate? Senate. About oh, the book, nagagalit siya. So parang ayaw niyang tinatanong siya. <laughs> oh. eh, diba yun? Eh, Siyempre, hindi gusto natin tanongin dahil eh, pera po ng bayan. Pero because, usually kasi, diba, pinag-uusapan natin yesterday. Normally, traditionally, diba, yung uh, ito, isa sa mga highest uh, 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 official of the land, diba, ang vice president. Hindi, parang normally, five minutes, ten minutes, tapos na yan eh. Oh, yung then, deliberation ng budget eh. It's because, ano naman kasi. Parang uh, courtesy formality sa lang yung Not ngayari, only that, eh. but yung budget kasi ng previous last six years, uh, budget ng office ni uh, Lenny Robredo, was giving, uh, was giving almost the bare minimum uh, budget. So, kung bare minimum yan na nakaset na allocate, na hindi naman wala naka-allocate na hininging extra budget si Len, BP Lenny for line items, eh, wala ka na i-question dyan. Basta ang given dyan, operating cost, tsaka cost of salary. Oh, yung mga Yun ang pasok. Niya. So, that is already in the in the books already. So, oh. no need to ask the Vice President Dika about nga that. Kaya nga sinasabi nung ano nila, sabi daw ni Vice President, ah, hindi ko alam, I don't know with the former Vice President kung ba't di niya, di ba, hindi niya tinatanong o hindi siya nagpupush ng higher budget or whatever that is. Ay, ayaw na lang niya ng gulo eh. <laughs> ayaw ng headache. Pero abangan po natin sa susunod na hearing regarding this. But kasi nung yesterday, di ba, nakita naman natin si uh, uh, Congresswoman, former President, uh, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Mm. Diba? Nakita natin talaga na pinagtanggol niya 
siya Vice President Sara Duterte by asking or telling um, um, her colleagues, di ba, na doon na lang tayo pag-usapan na lang natin yung 2025 budget. Huwag na tayong pumunta doon sa ano, mm. sa huling, yeah. ano, uh, mga nakaraang budget. Nakaraan pa. budget. But of course, ang point nila doon, yung utilization ng mga budget ng mga previous uh, budget have, allocation. Yeah, before we move on, we have to look at the historical uh, allocation kung nag-underspending ang isang agency. Yeah, yung utilization. Because if you're consistently underspending, then there is no reason to give you the budget that you're exactly. asking for. Oh. Oh, anyway, uh, matayang pa tayong pag-uusapan. Uh, pati daw, wala pang kape yan si Angel. High fire na magsalita. Parang lumaragas ang trend. Bakit? <laughs> then, then, yan yung ugat. Oh. Wala, wala akong kape daw. Nagkakape. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Uh,